Hey everyone, this is a review of the Milwaukee M12-2550 cordless rivet tool. Uh, it comes in a two battery kit or bare tool. Uh, so Milwaukee sent this over to me to review. We're going to take a closer look at it and see it in action. Alright, so here's the tool up close. Uh, it's got a pretty compact head. Uh, for a cordless rivet tool, if you look at a lot of the others out there on the market, um, they're a lot bulkier up here at the top. Um, and it's about six and five eighths if you take the mandrel catcher off uh, total length. Um, and it'll just spit the mandrels out the back here, or if you tilt it forward, they can come out the front. Um, and if you put this on, I believe it's around nine and a quarter um, from front to back here. Yeah, right, right, just a hair over nine and a quarter. It's a pretty hefty tool at four and a half pounds, um, but it's built really beefy up here. Um, I'm, I mean, it's just, it feels like it's built like a tank, uh, and I've had no problems with it performing at all. Um, it's, it's got a lot of power uh, in what I'm assuming is either a, a worm gear or just like a huge epicyclic gearbox uh, with a lot of reductions um, to get all that 2,000 pound pull force out of it. It does have a 0.8 inch travel, um, so you should be able to do um, you know, a wide variety of fasteners uh, with, with pretty decent sized grip lengths. This will do 3 30 seconds, 1 8 5 30 seconds, or 3 16 of an inch uh, diameter rivets, uh, and it will do stainless and aluminum. Uh, I've only tested this so far with 1 8 inch stainless. It blew through those without any problems at all. Um, I couldn't get my hands on 3 16 inch rivets in a short notice. Um, so I haven't been able to test it on that yet, um, but this thing seems to have plenty of power um, for doing stainless rivets. Down here at the bottom, you've got a belt clip you can put on either side. Um, it hangs pretty evenly, it's pretty along the, the center of gravity um, as far as uh, the tool goes, and you've got the heavier part hanging at the end so it's not top heavy uh, if you're going to put it on a belt. Um, also here is the onboard storage uh, for the other nose pieces. Uh, so it's easier to get to these if you pull the battery out. And this is just kind of a, a silicone or rubber um, material. Um, these come out fairly easily. Uh, they do have good retention and having the battery there will keep them from getting bumped. Uh, so it'll keep them from getting bumped and falling off. Uh, and you just pop them back in. You can hear that click uh, when it pops back in. To change out the nose pieces, you can either pull the onboard wrench out right here uh, and loosen it. Um, the only thing with that is the jaws inside here, um, the little chuck that grabs onto the mandrel is spring-loaded and it makes inserting the new one in there really hard uh, to get it straight without cross-threading it. So, Milwaukee has made this so you can leave this piece hand tight and loosen it up. Uh, and from the factory, it wouldn't loosen and it does have flats on this. These are one-inch wrench uh, flats. So you just put a wrench on it and loosen it the first time, then hand tighten it from then on out. Um, so you can pull this off, and you can actually leave the wrench in its little storage spot right here. And you can just put this back in there. You can just use this wrench right here without even taking it out of the tool to tighten or loosen uh, the nose pieces. And just put this back on and hand tighten it down. It's got a knurled grip up here at the top so you can grab it and turn it. So the one thing that worries me a little bit is retention with this. Uh, this just has like a plastic little stop thing that sits here and it just, it's just kind of a friction fit. So that might wear down if you're taking this in and out a whole bunch. Um, the solution to that is not take that in and out a whole bunch and just leave it in there and change out the nose pieces uh, with the wrench in the tool. On the back side of the tool, there's a spot for a lanyard uh, if you're working up on uh, you know, a high work area and you don't want to have uh, the chance of this heavy tool dropping on someone. As far as operation goes, uh, it's just got the trigger. You hold this down for the duration until the rivet pops, uh, and then you let it go and you can hear it reset. That's as long as it takes to set a rivet, uh, and then you let it go and it'll return. Uh, so it's pretty quick. Uh, not as fast as a pneumatic tool, um, but it's way faster than hand riveting, and it's way more convenient than dragging around a hose and a compressor. 
This also works uh, not just with one and a half and two amp hour batteries and the three amp hour batteries they have, but the extra capacity batteries sit right below um, the extra nose pieces. And this is actually, um, you're not going to be able to get the nose pieces out definitely um, with the extra capacity battery in there, uh, but there's almost no way you can knock these loose. Um, by accident either uh, with an extra capacity battery and there just gives you a little bit more security for retention on those. The action on this thing is very smooth. Uh, there's almost no vibration, no jarring, anything with this. I'll go ahead and pull one of these rivets without having you know any sheet metal in between there so you can see it work. This is a 1 8 inch diameter stainless steel rivet uh, with a half inch grip length. So I'm just going to go ahead and actuate it and you can see how smooth it is. The one thing I don't really like about this is the jaws kind of catch and push the mandrels forward. Um, they're supposed to catch back here, uh, pop out in the back, and you can see if I, if I just push this in and start another one, just push another one in here, it will come out the back, but they, I don't think I've ever had any, just by tilting it up like this and shaking it a little bit, they don't actually just pop out the back here. So that's actually something I'd like to see as an improvement. I, I don't know if they're going to have a Gen 2. There it goes. As soon as I poke this in there, it just had a, just enough um, clearance uh, to come out the back. So it's, it's really close. It's just not quite there. Um, there's just a little bit off on the tolerances. It's not a huge deal. You just have to remember to bonk the nose against something uh, and keep that mandrel from popping out. Uh, so you don't have to push it back in to feed the next uh, rivet in. So runtime for this thing, I have not done a full runtime test, uh, but it is 450 rivets, uh, 1 8 inch stainless steel rivets with a 1 and a half amp hour battery, uh, or 250 3 16 inch stainless steel rivets uh, with a 1 and a half amp hour battery. So plenty of runtime with this, uh, and with rivets, um, I mean it's a pretty a repeatable process, so it should be a pretty good projection of how much this will actually do. 1 8 inch grip, 1 8 inch stainless steel rivets. See it's pretty fast, you got the mandrel still here, you can tilt it back uh, and that'll actually fall, when you put the next one in it'll fall back in the mandrel catcher right here. Show you the back side this time. All right, so I've got two eighth inch th thick pieces of steel, uh, quarter inch grip rivets, eighth inch diameter stainless steel. Alright guys, so I'm really impressed with this tool. It works really well. Um, it's a huge, huge upgrade from a hand rivet tool. Uh, you're going to work way faster, uh, really save your forearms. Um, it's not quite as fast as a pneumatic tool, um, but it's got a lot more convenience as far as portability. Um, plus, price point is really good at this thing. Bare tool, it's $170, um, and it's an excellent deal at that price. There are other cordless rivet tools out in the market. Um, but those are usually anywhere from $500 to $1,500 uh, if you want a cordless rivet tool, and a lot of them are a lot bulkier than this one, especially if you remove the mangle catcher on the back. Now, if you buy this as a kit with the bag, battery, uh, two batteries, and a charger, and they're only one and a half amp hour batteries that it comes with, uh, it's $300. And that's not as good of a deal. It's still a better deal than other cordless rivet tools out there, um, but you're paying $130 for two batteries, a charger, and a bag. You can go buy another Milwaukee M12 tool, not one of the premium ones, but one of the older ones, like a drill or an impact, a uh, non-fuel version, with two batteries, a bag, and a charger, for $130 or $100. So what I would recommend, if you don't have any M12 tools, um, go out and buy just a cheap kit, and then buy this if you want it. Um, otherwise, if you have M12 tools, I would definitely go bare tool on this because it's a much better deal. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.